Oh boy, we are right there. Ah. Hey guys, welcome back. So my name's Larry, if you're new to the channel. Uh, I brought the Geo Tracker along on this trip again. Um, I've just really been enjoying doing these off-road adventures and uh, just exploring and things like that. So I brought this. I actually got here kind of late. Uh, it's probably gonna be dark here within an hour. So I just gotta hurry up, set up camp and then uh, I'm gonna get a fire going and get some dinner going. I'm starving. So we're actually in Wickenburg, Arizona, or just right south of Wickenburg, Arizona, on some state trust land. You can camp on state trust land as long as you have the permit, which is I think 15 to 20 dollars for a year. So uh, it's not bad. Sun's going down quick. I'm hearing all sorts of bats and coyotes out here right now. Gonna make like a beef stew tonight on the fire. Gonna brown up some hamburger in there. I got this new stand for the uh, Dutch oven here that holds it up off the fire a little bit. I uh, just figured I'd cook on this thing enough that it's probably gonna come in handy. That way I can set it above the fire and have a little bit more control of the heat. Ah, oh, smelling good already. Got some green beans, putting some carrots in there. some corn. All right, it's time to put the vegetables in. some beef broth. Trying to make a reasonable amount 
I don't want to get it too much because it's just me. I don't want to eat this for two weeks. <laughs> get a lid on this and let that boil a little while. Oh yeah, boiling up good, it's looking good. If you guys are interested in uh, the stand for the Dutch oven down here, I'll have it below in the uh, description and my uh, affiliate links. And uh, yeah, you can find it there if you're interested in it. I, I like it so far, this is the first time using it. And uh, it's, it's a lot better than just having it set right on the fire. Well, that looks good, I think it's done. Time to eat. It's actually really good for just having salt and pepper in it. I always forget to get seasonings when I'm at the store. Um, I think it's like some onion soup mix in this would have made it perfect, but I'm not complaining. Just some warm stew on a cold night. Um, can't beat that, you know. This area that we're in, um, it's just loaded with trails everywhere. And uh, every time I'm here, I see nothing but side-by-sides. And I've never brought a side-by-side -side or, or anything here or the tracker. I've never brought it here. I don't know why I've never done it, but now I'm here and I am just so looking forward to exploring and seeing why everybody comes here with their side-by-sides. Like, I can only imagine there's got to just be a ton of cool trails and we're going to go check out at least a couple of them tomorrow. That's the plan. Morning. So I want to thank Laura, a subscriber, for sending this um, Stanley set here. She got on the uh, channel's wish list, which is down below in the description, and she sent this as a gift. This is a uh, like an insulated Stanley French press. So it makes your coffee and it's insulated so it'll keep it warm while you're drinking it. And then uh, the matching like Stanley insulated cup and these things are just awesome. Um, I've been using this cup and it'll sit there and keep my coffee warm all day. This um, is the first time using the French press but so far I like it. So the way this works, uh, they call it like an immersion method. So um, you put your coffee grounds in the bottom you fill it with your hot water and then you just let it, um, I don't know if steep is the right word for coffee, I know that's for tea, but you basically let it set and uh, the, strong, the longer you let it set, the stronger the coffee is and then whenever you're ready to drink it, you just push this tab down and there's a screen and it pushes all the coffee grounds back to the bottom and that way you don't have coffee grounds in your coffee. Before I forget, um, the channel's logo is officially finished. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen it or even know. The, the channel has a Facebook account. It's just Work Less, Enjoy Life More, and I post it on there if you want to check it out. But um, you can also go down below in the description, and right at the top of the, the description of this video, I'll have a link to the, the online store to where you can get shirts and um, coffee cups and all sorts of stuff. Uh, with the channel logo on there and I'm really excited about it. I had a really good friend of mine um, design it and I just I'm just excited about it. I think it's perfect for the channel. Um, yeah anyways check it out if you guys haven't checked it out and uh, yeah I'm gonna get some breakfast made.
I think I finally found a trail. Uh, I'm about two miles in on it now. And I don't know how far it goes, but we're just gonna go down it, see what we find. You know, this trail is not very um, technical or anything, but it is a pretty cool trail. It's just gorgeous back here. We're getting really deep into the desert, and there's just nothing but saguaro cactuses everywhere. And um, I don't know, it's just just a cool little trail. I haven't seen anybody else though. Um, I was kind of thinking I was going to run into some side by sides at least back here, but nothing yet. Amazing boy is just having a good old time over there in the chair. He's just sniffing. Um, I got the I got the top off because so it was just fresh air blowing in here, and he's just nonstop sniffing all the smells. <laughs> I like seeing him when he's happy like that. basically in a wash right now. So I'm kind of at like a turnaround at this point uh I, I made it to the top of this hill i had one bar of service and i was able to open up my map and uh on my phone and i can't zoom in really close but it kind of looks like this trail goes into town um and if that's the case then i want to just go that way and we'll just get off onto the main roads and then we'll just go back to camp that way i'm kind of taking a risk at this point um i think we're just going to go ahead and try that route and then I guess worst case scenario, we just turn around and go back in the dark and it's just gonna make it that much more difficult to try to remember all the turns <laughs> to get back uh, if it's in the middle of the night. But uh, we'll see, we'll just keep chugging forward and um, see what we find. surprised I haven't seen another side-by-side -side or anything back here um, it's getting evening so I don't know if I will see anybody at this point because most people are back in oh wow okay I guess we'll go down here <laughs> oh man This is a lot right here for this little little tracker. Oh. There we go, we made it. Boy, this trail is getting to be something else here. <laughs> so I see houses off in the distance over here. And uh, that's telling me I obviously I'm going in the right direction, but uh, I just hit this spot right here that I can't even see where it goes and it looks pretty steep. 
I'm sure the camera doesn't know justice, but we gotta go down it. Buddy, you gonna be all right? You gonna hang on? She says, yeah. Let's do this. Oh, I'm more worried about sliding more than anything right here. Oh. We, yeah, we got it. All right. We made it, buddy. <laughs> He's just leaning up against the seat. <laughs> All right, well, it dropped us off down here in the river and there's trails going that way and up that road. And there's trails going that way, up that direction. And I have no clue which way to go. I don't have any service here. Um, I think we're just gonna go that way, I think. Hopefully we can make it across the sand without getting stuck. Oh yeah, that's pretty soft, but I think we'll make it. Sun's going down quick right there. I'm hoping we get dropped off here on a main road real quick. Oh boy. That's that's a hill right there. Um, you can see I have the camera there set up, but this is the sketchy way. That's the easy way, it kind of just goes around, and uh, but that's not fun. So we're gonna go ahead and hit that one. I just have to hug that right side so my wheels don't fall off that ledge. And Mason boy, you, you gotta get over there, bub. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. committed all right oh boy we are right there oh sh all right we just had one with the back tire fall off um we're just gonna go slow come on baby oh i don't know <laughs> uh, dang it all right <laughs> we're just gonna go oh, okay all right um i gotta get out and assess this <laughs> Yeah, we're right on that edge. Uh, I think, yeah, I think we'll be all right. Let's just keep going. All right. <laughs> I'll take the e-brake off. All right. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, we made it. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, that sun's going down quick. And 
I don't know. I haven't seen. Okay, I see a house now, but they're just way. They're always way off in the distance. Now they're up here on top of the hill. It's nice and flat now. Oh man, I see a house up here. Hopefully we're getting close. That sun's almost at the horizon. Well, it pretty much is at the horizon. These, these trails are just not in a straight line, obviously. So this trail could just all of a sudden turn and head off this direction. And that's why I'm so worried. It looks like we're heading to town, but who knows? That we're basically in somebody's backyard right there. Some nice houses. Oh, this is this is looking good. Look at that pavement. to go from here but uh, I'm gonna get on my maps and we're gonna get back to camp look at that beautiful sunset right there this isn't where I thought I'd end up on this off-road trail but I'm happy to see civilization again I think Mason is too yeah <laughs> all right I'll see you guys back at camp made it back before sunset Fun, bud? Yeah? You ready to get out there, huh? All right, let's get out. Come on, bud. There you go. You made it, huh? Coffee's still warm. <laughs> Beautiful evening. Can't beat a sunset like that. I'm out of breath because me and Mason were playing. <laughs> I don't know if he's just looking for a place to go to the bathroom right now or what, but we were running all over the place. <laughs> So Mason's inside all cuddled up and warm in his blankets. Had himself a good dinner. And uh, he's as happy as can be right now. I'm pretty happy because I'm eating marshmallows, but it's only because I'm too lazy to cook myself dinner. I think uh, my problem here lately has been the fact that this, basically since Thanksgiving, I've been sort of cheating on my diet. Um, I'll go three or four days on the diet and then somebody will have a dinner or, or something and I just cheat on it. Um, it's just hard this, this time of year, you know, with everybody having all this good food and it's cold and it's just nice to be inside where it's warm and eating something good. And, but my body's not used to eating all this sugar and stuff and I'm just... feeling super good about it. As I eat another puffy sugar ball, my mind's like divided. I, uh, I want to enjoy this stuff while I can, but it makes me feel like garbage. Just have like no energy.
morning, buddy. You sleep pretty good? Yeah. I did too, huh? Good morning. It's making me some breakfast. Little eggs with bacon and onion and cheese, garlic. Little breakfast scramble. I decided to cook inside today, but I'm kind of wishing I didn't because it's already hot in here. The sun came up. It says it's 82 degrees in here, so um, I mean, granted, some of that's from me cooking, but it's getting hot. So, if anybody's out there looking to do like a good deed for Christmas, um, I got an idea. So, uh, I've got everybody taken care of that lives close to me when it comes to like gift wise like I, I have all their gifts they're not they're not wrapped yet <laughs> but they will be probably the night before christmas there, there's just one friend that i have that i he just lives too far away and i don't have anything for him and i just think that it would be really cool if, if uh, you guys would like right at the end of this video i'll put a link to one of kenny of all trades videos um he unfortunately has things that are tying him up this week and he's not going to be able to have a video put out so um, maybe if you guys all would click on this last video or the video that's at the end of this video and just check it out and watch it again, uh, it would just really help out his channel to keep things up and active because with YouTube, if you're not active every week, then, uh, they stop suggesting your videos and as soon as they stop suggesting your videos, you're kind of starting over again and, uh, and that's kind of a bummer. So... If you guys want to do me a favor, it'd be cool just to go and click on that link at the end and go check out his video and um, maybe if you guys watch that, it'll help out his channel, keep it active. Um, you know, good deeds go a long way, I guess, you know, so uh, anyways, I'm going to finish this up because I'm sweating and he's got to be hot, so uh, I'm going to hurry up and get outside. <laughs> just uh getting a little hot in the RV there so just sitting outside under the shade tree enjoying the breeze uh, Mason got the scratchies right now but he was down there enjoying a little begging strip that he found in his blankets uh, I gave it to him yesterday and he hit it for whatever reason and decided to eat this morning so he's happy as can be I am too just out here enjoying my coffee and enjoying this breeze and the perfect weather I think it's like mid 70s right now uh, just can't beat it but uh, anyways I think I'm going to have to end it here. I appreciate you hanging out this far. And uh, until next time, I'll see you then. Thanks, bye.